Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, and moving on to the next example, we're told that a soccer player is trying to kick a ball in a net where the posts are 7.32 meters apart. From where the player is, one post is 12.8 meters away, and the other is 13.4 meters away. Within what angle must the ball be kicked in order for the player to score? So another trigonometry word problem. So let's start off with the diagram. Basically what's happening is, let's say we have a soccer player here. They are kicking a ball and they're trying to get it within the net. And let's say those are the two goal posts of the net right there. And we're told that the posts are 7.32 meters away. Okay, so this here, this net has a width of 7.32 meters. So the ball has to go within these posts in order for the player to score. And then we're told that from where the player is, one of the posts is 13.4 meters away. So let's say this is 13.4 meters. And then the other post is 12.8 meters like that. Okay. And so what they're asking is within, uh, within what angle must the ball be kicked in order for the player to score. So basically right here, this is the angle that we would be solving with, right? Because if the ball is kicked within this angle over here, then the ball is gonna go within the post. If it's kicked outside of that angle, right? If the ball is kicked like this way, then it's going to miss the net, okay? So that's what they're asking for. They're asking for this angle right here. So notice that we have a triangle here. We got three sides of it and we're solving for an angle. We don't know what the other two angles are. And so to do that, we would use the cosine law. Now remember the cosine law, the uh, formula for it is a squared equals b squared plus c squared, where those are the sides. And then we got minus two bc cos, um, sorry, 2BC, and then we have cos of the angle capital A, right? This angle is always going to be opposite to this side that we are working with, right? The small a and then the capital A. If you remember the triangle, basically, if this is angle A, this is angle B, this is angle C, well, this is going to be side A, this is going to be side B, this is going to be side small c like that. Okay, so if we're dealing with this, we're solving for this angle here, then we know that this A, like pretend that this theta is this capital A, then we know that the opposite side, this 7.32 has to go here, right? And then the B and the C would be these two. So this would be like side A, this would be angle A, and then it doesn't matter whether this is B or C, they're interchangeable, right? The most important part is to get in line the angle that you're solving for and then the opposite side to that angle. And then it doesn't matter these sides. We'll label this one as B, we can label this one as C. So we can then say, okay, 7.32 squared equals B squared, which is the 13.4 squared plus the C squared, which is 12.8 squared, then we'll have minus two times the B, which is 13.4, times the C, which is 12.8. And then we are solving for that theta right there. Okay, and we have an equation in terms of one variable to solve for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna bring these over to this side. So let's actually, you know what, I'll just continue it here. So we'll have 7.3 squared. I'm gonna kind of move this equal sign here. So it's gonna be 13.4 squared minus 13.4 squared, right? That becomes a negative minus 12.8 squared. That's gonna be negative two. We're gonna have negative two times 13.4 times 12.8 times cos theta left on this side right here. And if we wanna get the cos theta by itself, we would divide both sides by these three terms that are multiplying. You can multiply them here and then have that one value dividing by, but I'm gonna keep everything intact until the very end, 
like that. So then we divide this side by negative 2, 13.4, uh, 12.8, like that. So notice these cancel out right here. And so what we would end up with is um, the next line would basically just be cos theta equals this right here. So we would end up having cos theta equaling that expression. And when you do that in your calculator, this entire calculation here on the left side, you'd end up with 0.8449 on that left side. And then we want to get the theta by itself. It would basically be cos inverse. Right? we got to isolate for the theta. So it would be cos inverse of this ratio here. And then when you do that calculation, you'd get approximately 32.3 degrees. So that would be the final answer to this question. That's within this angle, the ball must be kicked in order for the player to score. Okay, so I feel like the toughest part is just coming up with the diagram, understanding what's going on, come up with the diagram, and then you're just dealing with a regular triangle where you are solving for that angle using the cosine law.